Hello everyone and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So in the last video, we got Kara and Alice somewhere safe for the night. And we got Marcus out of the, uh, the dump, if you will. That's essentially what it looked like. But, um, yeah, it was... It was a fairly simple-ish run last time, but this time I'm fairly certain we will be back with Connor. I don't know where that's going to take us, but let's just... If you find the game too easy or too difficult, remember you can change the difficulty settings in the options section. Changing the difficulty settings is for babies and wimps. <laughs> but... Uh, let's just hop into the game and see where it takes us. Okay. Oh, and we're back to Connor. November 6th, 9.56 a.m. Oh, compared to Marcus's situation, this is lovely. This is like paradise. Where are we? And who is Amanda? Are you Amanda? Probably. I still don't know who you are, though. Oh, what's this? Oh. Connor, Mark 1. Died at 554 Park at Parks Ave in Detroit, August 15th, 2038. Aww. That's actually a cool little touch. You can see how many times uh Connor was um killed, if you will. think there's much else to do or see here there's really, there's only one thing to do and that's to talk to amanda whoever the heck amanda is hello amanda pruning your roses hello amanda connor it's good to see you finding that deviant was far from easy you showed great skill in your investigation. But you knew deviants could be unstable. You should hmm? have been more oh. cautious. <laughs> I thought I could make yeah. it talk. It was a judgment error. Never mind. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Mm. It showed all the signs of deviancy. Cognitive instability, unpredictable behavior, and the emulation of human emotions. It was even afraid to die. The model was clearly defective. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's intriguing. He's irritable and socially challenged. All but fair. I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Mm. Maybe adapt? adapt? To his personality. It is in the best interest uh -oh. of the investigation that she I didn't like that. conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. 
If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Oh no. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Okay. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Okay. Do not cross the line. Ah, I see. Hmm. Joint Chiefs of Staff. Certificate of Service. Something north. Something captain. Jeez. Thinking you'd think an android wouldn't be so wobbly. You might be in shock. Just Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. Yeah. With a Russian carrier and an American Would patrol boat reported more, to please? have clashed last night. Sure. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has there spoken of intolerable Thanks. provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference to be held. So far, there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute as the situation develops. Hmm. No access without prior authorization. Okay. Hmm. There's something else to do here, but I don't know what it is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Oh, okay. No. It's just a progression. Okay. Well. All right. Hello, hello. All right. We really need the forensics. I'll chase it up. P.O. Miller. P.O. Wilson. Read. Brown. Person. Person. Your last name is Person? Sure. Okay. Ask about desk. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. It's that desk right there. Be advised, severe traffic affecting all units. Ooh, it's up here. Oh. Captain Fowler is unavailable. Okay. Hey. 
Hey, he's unavailable. Can't you see the sign? Oh. Okay, never mind. I guess he's only available to you. Detective Collins. Oh. Walked right past us. Detroit today. Famous Detroit painter dies. Carl Manfred, one of Detroit's brightest lights. Oh, Carl. UN warns of World War III. President Warren at 33% approval. Reports of famous artist Carl Manfred's death have been confirmed. The coroners described a fatal cardiac event induced by a stressful domestic situation. Manfred's son, Leo, has asked the media to respect his family's privacy at this difficult time. Oh, Leo. Such a liar. Carl Manfred rose to frame in the 2020s as a figurehead of neo-symbolism, with powerful and dark works in the mold of Francis Bacon. Proliferate years followed until a dark period marked by alcohol and drugs, but the artist had apparently returned to work in recent months. The governor of Detroit expressed her condolences to the family on behalf of the city, describing Manfred as one of Detroit's brightest lights. A collection of Manfred's paintings will be auctioned by his estate in the coming weeks. Oh. Ivanov says, yet. Russian president responds to Warren's warnings. Cyber Life World's, Cyber Life World's first trillion dollar company Global population reaches 10 billion. It's a lot of people. Ivanov says, Nyet. Following President Warren's demand that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic immediately, President Ivanov of Russia has issued a response. Ivanov branded Warren's comments as a megaphone diplomacy and said U.S. saber-rattling is the number one threat to stability in the region. The Kremlin produced a detailed statement outlining Russia's claim to the territory, and Ivanov said he would, quote, remind President Warren that the United States is subject to UN conventions like everybody else. The conflict shows no signs of abating. Mmm. Mmm. Donuts. Want one, Connor? Have a donut. You're a police officer in effect, Lieutenant Anderson, and empty. Oh, is that my desk? Oh, am I going to get to sit next to Lieutenant Anderson? <gasps> That's so cool. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Okay. Well, I guess we're sitting and waiting then. That's fine. Connor can sit here and wait all day. Hi, honey. You okay? Listen. Okay. Oh, what's that? Go see the Deviant. Examine his desk. Explore police station. Okay. Be silly. Listen. Ooh, what does he listen to? What's your type of music, Hank? Knights of the Black Death. Dark heavy metal. I wouldn't expect anything different. Call. Who can we call? <gasps> Ghostbusters. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. <laughs> sure. Hank Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> it's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Okay, analyze. What are we analyzing? How messy his desk is? Anti 
anti-Android slogans. Use your brain, not your Android free space. Donuts. Calories, 452, saturated by fatty acids, 13 grams. <laughs> Cholesterol, 19 milligrams. Carbohydrates, 51. So not the healthiest thing, but whoever said anything good was healthy. Mm, okay. Coffee cup. Cold coffee. Traces of caffeine. Yep, that's usually what's in coffee. Unless you drink that nasty decaf stuff. Japanese maple. Asian. Shishi Gashira Shohin? Listen, I just watch anime. I don't speak Japanese. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest has dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic with a number of high-profile dealers and suppliers now behind bars and narcotics seized with a street value of $500,000. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, is said to have been instrumental in the operation, which took months of planning. The DA described the work of Detective Anderson and his colleagues as, quote, model investigative police work. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant. Becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force, Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's recent history, securing a number of high-profile arrests and serving as an integral member of the force. Captain Fowler said the promotion was, quote, long overdue, describing Anderson as, quote, the most talented per police, among the most talented police I've ever worked with. The new, the new lieutenant is expected to rise quickly through the ranks of the department and is already being tipped as a future commissioner. New record seizure of red ice in Detroit. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson of the Detroit Police Force. Hmm. Detroit basketball cap. Cotton 90%, polyester 10%. Matches, Jimmy's Bar, Wood and Phosphorus. Okay. Red Ice Task Force 2027, multi-department unit responsible for the Red Ice Network Dismantle of 2028. Nice girl, asshole. <laughs> good what? A good something, real police. Not seen since 2019. Only $50. <laughs> Harris, canine Harris, St. Bernard. Aw, does he have a St. Bernard? That's so cute. I could see Hank having a St. Bernard. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! <laughs> In my office. Uh, enter and listen. Sure, we can explore the office once we're done here, I think. I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's wow. overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. 
CyberLife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, <laughs> you are seriously starting to piss me <laughs> off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Hmm. I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> Just add insult to injury. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's go check out the Deviant. Hmm? Shall we? If we can. Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Could have uh, got somebody out of the android if you hadn't fucked it up. Okay. Here we go. Hello, Detective Reed. Never seen an android like you before. What model are you? I'm gonna be nice. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! I'm no. sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> if Hank hadn't gone the way yesterday, I would have fucked you up for disobeying a human. Stay out of my way, because next time, you won't get off so easy. Um... Several sources report that I don't know how that makes sense because he's an android so wouldn't that have wouldn't that have hurt him more than it would have hurt Connor of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations we contacted oh Connor they're talking about you to answer our questions the first book written by an artificial intelligence has just been published and to call it a okay Oh no, can I go in here? Oh, I can. Observation room. <sighs> Maybe you can get some pointers on how to do an investigation, Connor. Or interrogation. Okay. There's nothing here. That's the interrogation room. Look at you. What a handsome gentleman. I bet you give yourself pep talks in the mirror every morning. That's literally all we can do in here is just 
look at ourselves in the mirror for a second. Okay. What? <laughs> what are you looking at? You? Hey, fuck you! Rude. I'm just standing here. I didn't do nothing. They're going to destroy me. I'm so compassionate. It's not what I wanted, but there's nothing I can do. I'm going to die. Poor guy. Can't go in. Okay. I mean, I didn't think so. But. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! Hmm? I guess he wants to go on on his own terms? Oh. Okay. In this mess up. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. I really don't. Okay. You take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. Uh, oh, here we go. Why can't I? Okay. Hmm, something missing. Alright, I'll chase it up. I already read that. I don't know why that's still. Hmm. I get the understanding my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> uh, positive. I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. <laughs> Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. <laughs> Yay! I get to sit right next to Hank. Do you want to go get lunch later? Hmm. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oh, come on. You were warm to me just a little bit ago. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. <laughs> What's your dog's name? <laughs> What's it to you? 
Hello, dogs. Sumo. <gasps> Sumo. Sumo. Oh. What a great name. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. <laughs> Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. <laughs> you listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Oh, uh, maybe it shouldn't have brought that one up. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? Okay, well, I guess I'll just start running. Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Hey, he doesn't know how it works. Give him a break. All right. Case file. Agency name, Detroit Police Department. Agency QIR number, PMA 940551. Date of offense, 10438. Case number 792240. Report date, 10438. Case reference disappearance, victim Gordon Lopez. Reporting officer, ID number 9401, unit 412. Case assigned to Lieutenant Anderson, open, involving Android, yes. The plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work. When he returned, the Android was nowhere to be found. No trace of a break-in in the apartment. The Android, the Android may have left the home without being ordered to. Uh, case reference attack, victim Charles Bell, reporting officer ID 1379, unit 566. Assigned to Anderson, open, yes. Uh, claims to have been attacked by an AV500 number 234-777-821 model Android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain situated at 842 Chamberlain Ave. The plaintiff claims the Android quote unquote lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The Android remains at large. Attack, victim Sarah Cornwall, reporting officer ID 4761, unit 714, signed to Anderson, open, yes. The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android in AP 700, number 480-913-802 model. The android also trained several, trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. Disappearance, Floyd Mills, reporting officer 4703, unit 815, assigned to Anderson, open, yes. The plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a quote-unquote sex android, model WR400, number 641790831. The android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. Okay. Okay. Attempted murder, victim Leo Manfred. Reporting officer ID 9603, unit 147, case assigned to Anderson. Solved, yes. Oh boy. Famous painter Carl Manfred was found dead in his home following an altercation between his android and his son. The latter's witness, the latter's witness statement attests to the android behaving violently. The android is thought to be a prototype, a known model and serial number, and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. I'll just ask Leo, he'll give you all the information. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. 
Lab report says they cut it. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. Maybe that could be a good starting nice. point for our investigation. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> Come on, Hank. We can be friends. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Okay. So that could have gone better, I suppose. And I missed something. Hmm. Oh, I missed something there. There was something else to do in the uh, area that Amanda's in. Darn. Okay. Uh, well, Amanda trusts me at least, but Hank is back down to neutral. He was warm, but now he's back to neutral. Okay. Eight November 6th, 2038. Okay. And we're back to Kara and Alice. Okay. Revive fire and something else. Probably just check up on Alice, but... Let's see if anything's changed here. Oh, we got a newspaper here. Detroit Today. Cyber wildlife. First android zoo opens. U.S. life expectancy now 91. And 0.4% of world population holds 94% of global wealth. Cyber life is set to open the first android zoo in Los Angeles. And which will exhibit all exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Loot turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be among the most high-profile attractions. CyberLife CSR spokeswoman Danielle Carnegie said the zoo, quote, caters to people of all ages, end quote, and has a special mission to, quote, Educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. End quote. Though some environmentalists have claimed to have claimed the zoo will diminish pop popular concern for the extinction of quote unquote real animals, it's difficult to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but CyberLife promises they will be quote unquote more real than the real thing. No doubt an ideal weekend trip for the family. That would actually be kind of cool to see like extinct species in a, in a zoo. Like just think about it, seeing a, like a woolly mammoth in a zoo. You're never gonna get to see that. Canada, still android free zone where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape, discover the wild, discover Canada. Hey Alice, wanna go to Canada? I'm sure it'll be safer than here. 
Despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids into the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. With Androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for the time being, Canada remains an Android-free zone. Hmm. There's always going to be one group of people that just doesn't want anything to do with that kind of mess. And I can understand. I'm not going to lie. I, I do understand. Okay, now we just wait until Alice wakes up. I wanted to check. Make sure Alice is okay. Okay. Just give her a little jostle. Let's see what's going on in here. Anything? No. Okay. Oh, we can look at this now, though. RA9. I'm very curious to see where that goes, because I am very confused about what RA9 is. So, I'm sure we'll find out at some point. What's this? Urban farm area. Urban field something. 2650 Woodward Ave. Detroit, Michigan. 48. 201 USA. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what that was all about. Maybe that's where we'll escape to. It'd be cool if you get that working again for Alice. Ooh, cut hair. We're changing our appearance. Oh, no. Up. There you go. There's bound to be scissors around here somewhere, right? Nothing in there. Nothing in there. I just didn't know if anything changed since last night. Plus, you can see around here better. Where is our gracious host? Hello? Oh, there we go. Alice is going to be scared when she sees us, but to be perfectly honest, we must do what we must do. It's just hair, Kara. I'd say it grows back, but you're an android. I don't know if your hair grows the same as a human's. What a look. I actually think that looks so cute. <laughs> Oh, we can change the color. <gasps> what does white look like? I have to know. <gasps> Love it. Hmm. Brown is just back to what it was. But black. Nah, I don't think black suits her, believe it or not. Yeah. Now that's what we call look. Oh, we're going to pop out our little LED thing. There we 
we go. Now no one will ever know we're an android. We're in hiding. We're our own witness protection program. I mean, I don't know how we're gonna hide Alice, per se, but... Oh. Alright. That's all for now. Ready to go. Oh, the stories are crossing. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Why is he just standing there like that? What a little weirdo. Okay. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its uh -oh. decision wasn't planned, it was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. <laughs> it's good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> Come. Come and sit down. <laughs> mm, I'm afraid what'll happen if we refuse. That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. Oh, yeah. Please, it Alice, like sit. To refuse. Would it? <laughs> great. It's going to be great. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Mother, mother, little girl. Oh, no. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this oh, is God. going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> no, it won't, but... Go ahead. Eat. Eat. Oh, not this again. She escaped this and now she's back into it. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, no, I missed something. Get back here, I swear I'll blow your head off. Should have looked around more and missed something. Anybody home? There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Oh, okay. Now we're back to Connor. Um. What in God's name is happening? We were just as Connor before, and then Kara, and now Connor again. Peekaboo. Anyone home? Oh no. This is not gonna end well. Oh, come on. This is a little fox. Uh. Are there any other androids here? Ralph just wanted to be nice. Ralph wanted to help. Where is it? You see, he ran out the back door. Connor, what's going on? It's in the area. Call it in. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. Home, but I don't want to catch them. Oh, 
what if we just turn around? Oh, we can't. Over there. Okay. <laughs> Don't shoot, we need it alive. We're going to be back to car, aren't we? Oh, fuck. That's insane. Oops. God. Kara, this is so irresponsible. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get oh away. My God. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go uh, after him, Connor. That's an order. To go. Connor, God damn it! I know Hank's not happy about that. Wow, this is. Ugh. Oh, whoops. Come on, Alice. This is so wild. I'm like, I'm not saying anything because I'm concentrating. This is wild. Okay, that was... It was like rapid swapping back and forth between Kara and Alice and Connor. Whoa. Are you okay? Okay, so that could have ended pretty poorly here, as we can see. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff could have changed. Could have gotten differently, rather. Hmm. Ooh-wee, look at that. and Ralph yeah and because there was something I missed Ralph wants a family meal oh gosh wow okay and these could have only been different depending on what you choose um previously so these are by default locked you can't do anything with these paths here unless you choose something else and then it all converges down here into one wow remove led there's something else we could have done here that i missed I probably should have gone because I think there was another room I could have gone in, gone into, but I missed it. Hmm. Okay. Well, there is that. Yeah, you know, I'm going to end this video here. Um, it's already been quite eventful. Um, we got to meet Amanda, whoever she is to the story, um, but she seems to hold Connor in very high regard.
so she must be important. And we got Alice and Kara out safely, albeit, you know, got bonked a few times by some cars, but... Um, and the stories are starting to intertwine. I figured at some point they would, considering that um, through Connor we found out about deviants and then Kara becoming a deviant herself in order to save Alice. So I know at some point everything would converge into one big story. Um, I just didn't know when or how, but this is the uh, the beginning of that. So um, I'm interested to see where this takes us. Uh, I believe next time we will uh, come back to Marcus and see where his story leaves off. But for now, uh, if you've made it this far, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you like what I did or you think I could do something differently, please be sure to leave it in the comments section below. Constructive criticism is always very, very helpful. And be sure to give this, this video a big old thumbs up because it continues to let me know that I'm doing something right. But with all of that said and done, I thank you for sticking around and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.